Hello. Look at what's happening here. I feel like I'm doing like a voiceover for like a TikTok video. Like, every day I wake up and then I put on my socks and I look out into the sky. Anyway, so uh, here we have a, the lovely uh, three-piece prosthetic that I made um, to replicate Rick Baker's uh, American Werewolf in London look. I did the same thing at Monster Palooza back in uh, June. Uh, this is for New York Comic Con, obviously. So the one at um, Monster Palooza I did in silicone, and this is cold foam that is by Krylon. Um, I, I I'm a lot better at foam latex uh, than I am at silicone, so this application went a lot faster um, than previously. So as you can see. I placed the cheek piece down, um, using Prosade as uh, the adhesive. It is a medical grade adhesive, so it stays. <laughs> it stays very well in place. Um, sometimes too well in place, and you get stuck. <laughs> um, anyway, so place the cheek piece, then the neck piece, and then of course the face, the head part, you know, I guess you want to call it that. Uh, once I'm done with that, as you can see, I'm taking the lovely old uh, cobble patch and just kind of filming in, filming, wow, filling in, I can speak, filling in the, you know, excess edges that might be like very obvious, like, oh, look, this is the edge of the prosthetic, you know, filling in any gaps, um, you know, doing all that. I did have to do a little bit more than I wanted to um, due to the fact that I don't know. I'm not the best at sculpting, nor am I the best at mold making. I watched that guy Rob's, you know, Stan Winston class like a bajillion times. Like I bought the class just, you know, so I do better at mold making. That I wasn't the best at mold making when I was in school, um, but painting, I'm great. I'm great at painting. <laughs> um, it's so funny. Like I'm in my freaking ghost face, kind of ghostly dead face makeup and in my underwear while I'm doing this. I almost forgot that's how I look like. And my glasses. I'm, I'm an intellectual ghost. Um, so yeah, so I'm just filling it all in and all that stuff. Again, that's usually where I take the longest time. Um, when it comes to foam latex, when it comes to silicone, it is just a lot. It's a lot of screaming. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, spread all that on like good old cream cheese, you know, um, while I'm doing that, I'm also adding texture to it, just so it's not like, here's this smooth cement that I'm laying on. Oh yeah, right here, you can see that. I'm adding some liquid latex on top to give it that kind of skin feel, dab it, dab it, dab it, dab it on, you know, get all that fun stuff in there. Uh, especially with, like, Paul's, uh, skin complexion, you can really tell, obviously, the difference. Now, the liquid latex has, you know, dried. The cobble patch is dry, but the cobble patch is white. So, you know, all liquid latex dries clear. Um, yeah, so then I had to fill in the color, which I bought, funny enough, at Monster Palooza. This great palette. It's amazing because it's perfectly Paul's skin tone. Um, yeah, so color matching. Color matching, again, painting is not an issue for me. That's the easy part. <laughs> the hard part is literally over. This is the, the fun, easy part for me. Painting, you know, matching up his skin tone, all that stuff. Doing it in layers, you know, just so you know, like, if you do it, like, in one swoop and you're like, oh, I don't think it matches, just layer it up, you know, just layer it up. Um, I love Skin Illustrator. I love these, you know, alcohol um, activated paints. I love them so much once I was able to afford them. Um, and I just, I couldn't stop using them. I mean, I have a shit ton of those palettes. That's why whenever I go to Monster Palooza, I'm just like, well, let's buy more palettes. I need more colors, you know? Um, so yeah, filling in the colors, filling in the colors. Yeah, darkening in some spots. My camera just randomly moving. The camera's attached to the light, which is a smart thing because <laughs> I didn't bring a tripod with me. Um, but yeah doing that spinning him spinning me spinning all oh so yeah the skin's done now filling in some extra color for the bloody gooky muscle parts you know just make it more red um doing all that oh yeah i also powdered 
like the skin part just so it doesn't have like that kind of like sheen to the latex and whatever not like alcohol paints again it, it dries matte but like the latex was like hi plastic anyone or well, latex anyway um yeah so as you saw i also flicked like you know some colors there so it just looks like tonality of skin so it's not just like hi this is brown next to this different brown um so yeah put some um what's that called uh fresh scab for like the really like gooky parts and then here i'm just adding in the lovely uh paramount blood because we all love blood just to make it look all nice and fresh like he was just you know like it just happened um but yeah that's how you uh recreate rick baker on a very shoestring budget <laughs>